Hi, good morning. Uh, Dr. Bill Fulton, Medical Director at uh, Center for Venous Disease in Gilbert, Arizona. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, today we have a treat for you. We're going to be treating a greater saphenous vein. Uh, this patient has reflux, and again, just as a quick review for those of you who uh, have studied uh, venous disease. When your heart relaxes to fill with blood, gravity pushes blood down towards your feet, and normal veins have valves in which close. And that closure time should be a half a second. If those valves are uh, damaged and blood flows back towards the, the feet for longer than a half a second, that's abnormal. This poor patient's blood is, flows for up to six seconds. Um, and because of that, uh, she has a lot of symptoms. So we're excited today. We're gonna be able to uh, get her feeling better. And also we're excited to get to show you how to do this uh, procedure. Um, uh, again, the greater saphenous vein runs on the middle part of the leg. Uh, comes down here. We've already gotten access uh, to this. I'm going to ask my cameraman to kind of shine over and I'll do a quick little, quick little uh, view of the, uh, being very careful there, very nice. So I'm going to have my cameraman kind of point out that great saphenous vein there. There you go, you can see that hole coming down there, we'll get a little bit more jelly here so we can see everything. And again, you can see that coming right down there. And you see that, that's a big, uh, we call that a tributary vein, and that's one of the reasons this patient's been having problems. We've already put this wire up in here, so I'm gonna show, turn this sideways. And I'll, again, I'll have my cameraman point out the wire. There you go, very good. So we've got the wire in the vein, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come on back, we're gonna have the cameraman go ahead and come back live to the leg. So this is called the Selinger Technique. Um, I'm going to put a little bit more lidocaine in here because this should be a virtually painless procedure. Although, as we've all, if you've ever had stitches, you know that when you have uh, lidocaine, sometimes it stings a little bit. I'm going to make a little tiny incision right over the top of the wire. Very good. Want to make sure our wire is nice and clear. Yep, very nice. And then the next part of the procedure is we have an introducer. And that's where we open the vein up a little bit so we can get the catheter in there. Always making sure that we control the wire. We don't want to lose that wire in any place. And we tell the patient it's going to be a little bit of, little bit of pressure, so we're going to count to three. One, two, three. I'm going to push that in nice and slow. Nice and slow. There we go. Doing okay. How are we doing? We're doing all right? Um, yeah. Very good. Let's make sure we're where we need to be. Very nice. Now we're going to pull the wire out. That should feel better. You feeling better there? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes you feel a little bit of burning, yeah. We're kind of spreading that vein out there. We'll just relax. Now we're going to get the uh, get the uh, catheter. We'll put the catheter in. Nice and easy. Down here, I can feel. Can feel? Yeah. Let's just make see. Mm. What do we know? Just to yeah, so this patient feels a little bit of discomfort as we're going into the vein. Why don't we go ahead and again show the, go ahead and turn over there, we'll show that catheter in that vein. Very 
pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just out of my field of burning. Mm -hmm. Not from out there, but from inside. Yeah. I don't baby. No, you're doing just fine. <laughs> That's why we asked you to tell us. Oh, oh great. What we're going to do now is we're going to put a little bit of medicine up in there and start putting it to sleep so that you're not okay. Actually, we'll weigh a pie now. Are you already up there? Yep. Oh. That's why you feel clear up there. Well, that didn't hurt. Now you say that. And now the key with this procedure is making sure you're in the right location. And so we're already up almost to where we need to be. Everything's going fantastic. We can see that looks like a choo-choo train in the tunnel. And what you do is you come down there, that, that is the greater saphenous vein going in to the uh, femoral vein. We'll have my colleague point that out. The big one is the common femoral vein. There you go, and then that, the, the uh, saphenous <coughs> vein is that other one. Very nice, thank you. And then what we'll do is we're just gonna pull back. We can see it going in right there. Very good. And then we're just going to bring the catheter into view. There it is. There's our catheter. So now what we're going to do is we're going to measure. We're going to go ahead and measure that. Go ahead. Right from there. Good. Very good. Very good, and we want to be about uh, two centimeters away from that, so we'll just we'll make it a little bit closer. Very good. Again, we just we always like to uh, measure twice, make sure we're right where we need to be. Go ahead, right, perfect, right there. You can see that it's kind of a cool view. You can see that valve flapping right there. Very nice. Go ahead and measure. Very good. Like where we're at. Very good. Okay, good. Then we'll go ahead and come back to the leg. What we're going to do is we're going to we're going to be Doing a little, uh, we're going to be putting a little <coughs> numbing medicine in and around that vein. I'll kind of show you how we do that. We've already we've already numbed this up. Good job. This is the part where it starts to feel all better because this medicine now puts it to sleep, okay? So he's just going to go in around that vein and start feeling the pressure. Very good. Okay, so now you should, you're going to feel pressure. I shouldn't be a lot And again, what's nice now is we're just putting that numbing medicine in all the way around that vein. This is called, we call this tumescent. And that's what, uh, that's why we can heat this vein up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit, which is amazing. But you can do this and you don't feel anything. And then what we'll do here, we'll, we'll switch, switch the camera here in a second just to kind of show you what it looks like. It looks like almost like a video game. It's very nice. I'm going to bring that out. Why don't we go ahead and go back over to the screen so they can kind of watch it from there. I'm just going to do a little bit more numbing medicine. These are where we're starting those, all right. this is those little pokes. No, you're doing fine. So this is where you get a little, little poke. Doesn't feel good. What a really brave patient to come in today and be nervous about the procedure and then allow us to uh, do this. And that little, again, you can see that little looks like a headlight. That's my needle. Very good. And this is the part that if you're not really used to what you're looking at, it can be tough to really see what you're doing here. But we're, we're going to get this all numbed up. Good. You can see me again there. And then you can see the, show that headlight there, Trey. That's the catheter. 
And then what we want to do is we want to come in, want to come in real close to that. And there you can see me right there by the vein. And you can see that fluid going all the way around the vein. Very nice. Very nice. Patient, we don't hear any screaming. That's a great thing. We can do uh, some, uh, some physicians like to give some, uh, some uh, we can give uh, Ativan to help you relax when you do this procedure. I think that works. This, pa this patient is a mother of uh, multiple children and uh, she, uh, she's very brave. So she's doing, she's doing great. So this, this procedure is being done with nothing but local, uh, which is the lidocaine with epinephrine. And again, just putting that, putting that needle in there. She's doing fantastic. Again, you can see me right where we need to be. See that right there. And you see that nice circle of black around that catheter, which is awesome because it's, it's low likelihood, but you want to make sure that you get uh, numbed up for lots of reasons, or use it to mess it for lots of reasons. Uh, one of the reasons you do it is obviously for pain control. And the other thing you do is it helps make that, close that vein around the catheter. So it makes the procedure work better. And it also acts as a heat sink, uh, which uh, helps protect other uh, tissues. Mm -hmm. little, little ouch. Can I say that just when we're doing a little bit of, this is the, the least comfortable uh, spot for patients when they do this. Very nice. You can see me just getting a location there. Cam cameraman's got to have his phone on. Never know when he has that emergency phone call at work. The front desk is calling. We're going nice and slow. Sometimes if we put that in a little bit, it, uh, and again, this is, this part of the procedure is, is the time consuming part, but it's the important part because we want to make sure that we're right where we need to be. We want this procedure to, again to be as painless as possible. Chelsea, we feel okay? Getting close to being done here, which she likes. A little ouch. I always like to say ouch. I don't want to jump, scare my patients when we're doing that numbing medicine. Patient's doing fantastic. Again, we just want to go in right by that. And you can see that catheter right there. Very good. Very nice. Very nice. We're going nice and slow. Ouch. Okay. 
actually it doesn't matter at all. Well, you're tough. <laughs> What's that face for then? It, I don't know. I'm just <laughs> preparing myself for if it does. <laughs> So did everybody hear that on the video? That doesn't really hurt. That's uh, we did not pay her to do that. Say that. Oh, ouch. Again, this is this is the this is the important part. See, it's right there by that catheter. Good job. This patient is just awesome. She's doing fantastic. Again, you can see it's coming up right there by the vein. This is probably like uh, watching paint dry if you're watching this video, but this really is the uh, this is the key key spot for doing this procedure. We got to make sure we don't have any discomfort, and we want to make sure we help the patient feel as good as possible doing this. She's done fantastic. And we may only have uh, maybe two more pokes. As we get up closer to the groin region, which is very important where we're at, we want to make sure we get that numbed up. So a little, again, a little ouch. Doing fantastic. Change the depth of the plate. Change that. Good. Good job. You're going to need to go the other way. You need to go to four. There we go. Good job. Three or four? I just go to four. Good. So, again, go ahead and point out because we just changed the scale. And so you can see that's where we're at right there. See me sneak up there right by it. And this, what's just amazing is how ultrasound has allowed us to to do a procedure that used to be vein stripping, where you had to go to the hospital, you had to be in the operating room, and now uh, you get to do this in office procedure. Uh, it takes uh, less than an hour, and uh, there's no downtime, which is amazing. This patient will be able to go uh, run around, take care of her uh, children and uh, do all the things that she needs to do with her daily activity. She also uh, has a job. She'll be able to go do that also. And so we'll hopefully one more, and then we'll show you a little bit about what we do when we heat, start heating things up, and then we'll uh, probably end this uh, video and then we'll finish the case. A little ouch. Catheter now, so that's a good thing. Well, now it tickles. And now we get a tickle. <laughs> the patient says that tickles. Obviously, we like that more than hurting because we don't want to hurt you. There we go, good. I'm just going to stay at the screen there. And then this is where I just, I just want to kind of go through the whole. I like to scan the leg and just make sure I'm happy that I have enough of the tumescent material. Again, I'm just going to change the view for you just so you can see. There's that catheter. I'll have my assistant point that out. That's that catheter. And then the dark area all around that catheter is the numbing solution. So very good. And again, we go down. We can again see that uh, common uh, femoral vein. And then you can see the arteries to the left of that. And what's really nice is if you push down on that, see how the vein closes down and you can see the arteries don't. 
And again, we know we're exactly where we're supposed to be. Uh, and we, I'm, looks like we have enough of the uh, tumescent solution all the way around that. I'm just going to go all the way down past this leg, make sure I'm happy with that. Very good. Very, things are looking awesome. Very good. Very happy with that. Now what we're going to do is I'm just going to tilt the bed. And we want to uh, we want to drain as much blood out of that uh, as we as the leg as we can. So we're just going to put the patient in what we call Trendelenburg position, and that's just where we put the head down and the, the feet up. Doing okay. Excellent. Doing fantastic. Now this is uh, this is going to be a treat for you. This is the part where doctors that do this procedure we want to make sure that uh, they don't feel anything. I'm going to. Put the catheter probe right on. And then you can see the catheter. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. If the patient feels anything, she's going to, she's going to tell me. And then if we do, then we will we'll start. We'll put a little bit more numbing medicine in there. So you can see the catheter. Occasionally you'll see some bubbles come out of the tip of that. You can see those, see those bubbles coming out right there. So very good. So that catheter is already up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit or 120 degrees Celsius. And uh, as you can hear, there's uh, no screaming, no gnashing of teeth, and the patient does not feel anything. Is that correct, patient? That's right. Beautiful. She's doing awesome. So, so this is the, the critical uh, area. Obviously, we, we're using the uh, Venus device where there's a 7 centimeter uh, heating portion of that to catheter. And that's what uh, that's what we're heating up. Very good. So we've got those two segments. And I'm going to have the cameraman come uh, change, um, and we'll just we'll just uh, end with that. He's making sure that we uh, don't get the patient. Uh, don't want to show the identity of our patient. Has been very nice to. Uh, I'll go ahead and. Have it. All right. Are we happy with that? So this patient's done a great job. Uh, all that's left for us is just to continue to go down that great saphenous vein that we've already numbed up. You've already seen that with the tumescent solution to continue to heat that vein up. And what's great about this procedure is once that vein is heated up, it closes down. Blood no longer can run in the great saphenous vein and it's forced to go into the deeper veins, which is where you want it to go because that makes the blood return more efficient and those symptoms that the patient's been having are, are going to improve. Um, again, if you ever have any questions, uh, we uh, encourage you to uh, uh, give us a call at 480-917-7546. And again, this is uh, Dr. Fulton. Uh, hope you have a great day.